In this video, let's talk about the integration of Salesforce, Slack, and DocuSign CLM. As you've seen in prior videos, we have an ability to generate a document from Salesforce. What we also now have is the ability to create a new Slack channel or select from an existing Slack channel to start our document generation process. So this feature here allows us some flexibility as well as building that integration between Salesforce, Slack, and DocuSign. But what I'd like to show is a little bit more of a twist. So here we are on an account. Now we certainly could also be on any other object, opportunities, quotes, etc. We also could be having an approval process. So let's say for purposes of this account, the negotiations have started to go well and we need to generate some paper, whether that be an NDA or an MSA, just so in working with this account, we have some legalities under control. So we're going to click save because we're going to change this rating to indicate that this account needs to have paper. Now it does not have to be this field. It could be a combination of fields. It could be holistically a separate approval process that happens on the Salesforce side. But this is just an example to illustrate how we can trigger a record trigger flow that now will talk to a Slack channel that gets found and related based on the name. And as we will see here, we now have a message in a Slack channel based on the account name. Now we could put ID in here, we could do a lot of things, but it's as simple as, hey, is this name match up? Yeah, it does. So if I'm a sales rep and I'm separated from the instance of any type of initial discussions to say, we want to do business with this potential pursuit, well, now I just got notified that I need to generate some paper. And depending on the business's processes, etc., I can do this all from within Slack. So let's say we're going to start off with an NDA with this pursuit. We've yet to even begin further discussions and we want to make sure we have the NDA in place. Now, one of the things that the Slack integration with Salesforce offers us is the ability to run a screen flow from within the Slack channel. And that's what we're doing here. Now, did I need this other drop down? I did not, but I just wanted to showcase another opportunity to say if we wanted the notifications set to a different channel, you can do that. So there's some power here. The number of controls that are supported in Slack are about a half dozen or so, and they're your basic controls for a form. So if you're going to build a robust form, that's not available to you just yet, but this is enough to get us started for this use case. So we're going to click our generate document and our flow is going to continue and say, all right, you requested this NDA. Oh, please make sure you also look for a, a message that comes in and you get the next steps going. Okay, great. So we're going to finish that up and lo and behold, we already have received the message to click this link to finish the document generation process. So here we go and we're going to click that link and now we're going to be taken to DocuSign CLM. And as in prior videos, this 
starts the document generation process. Now this is the same UI UX if you were to click from within Salesforce. But now the difference is you've started that process and you can come back to Slack and you can wait to be taken to the document. So now the DocuSign CLM is working behind the scenes to generate the document, merge the data, apply attributes, prep it into the workflow, all based on business requirements, and it will be sending a message to the, it just did, to the Slack channel, your document now is ready. So we can not only click directly to go into the Salesforce record, but we can click to directly go into DocuSign CLM. And we can see it's in request to review and the workflow has started. Anyone monitoring this channel will see that the NDA was kicked off. So let's act upon that NDA and we can go into the NDA from Slack. We could also have stayed on that tab and been redirected to it. But here we have a bit of the NDA that we need to get out the door. But before we do that, maybe there's a question or two for legal. Maybe something happened and we need to have legal take a look at this. Well, before it can go out the door, we will send to legal and we will put a comment in and that is what we're going to do for purposes of now moving this document to the next step or steps within CLM and it's completely flexible at that point this is where the CLM excels so we could close this tab but let's go back into our slack channel and what we'll notice here is we have a legal review private channel for the legal eagles to review or look to see if something has been assigned or pushed through DocuSign. So no longer do you have to wait for the email or sit in your inbox, which could be a little crazy. You can go directly to the Slack channel. Oh, okay, we've got an NDA that needs to be reviewed. Great. And then legal can pick it up from here and they will be taken into the DocuSign CLM directly to the document. Now, we also saw the update that happened for the account channel, basically, and it's got the history and the comment. So as this document makes its way through the entire CLM workflow, based on the needs of the business, the channels will be used to help track it. Let's extend this a little bit further. Let's think about the need to use AI. How could we use AI to give us some insight? Well, here we're on a page inside the DocuSign CLM, and we're going to target the latest OpenAI model we're going to pass it a custom prompt that someone from legal created. And we're going to also send it some clauses that were extracted from the document. And we want to determine the risk to the business based on compliance, cost, and overall risk. So let's submit that into that large language model, we could target more than one, but in this case, we're just going after the open AI and we're looking for an initial analysis by that large language model to give us an idea of a rating of significance to the business. So the rating came back, the analysis came back and you could say, well, that's great. The legal person is able to look at this and do whatever they need to do for the next phase of whatever needs to happen. How is Slack involved? Well, if we take a look back at the pursuit channel, we can see the results have also been pushed into this channel. So now the rep or the folks monitoring this channel can see legal sent this for an additional AI analysis to determine what may be going on. How is this beneficial? Well, 
Extend this to even thinking about redlining that could happen throughout the life cycle of the document. And if those red lines come back and are sent to an additional evaluation with AI, you could see how the document has progressed. So the integration of DocuSign CLM, Slack, and Salesforce is now providing numerous opportunities for data visibility and data sharing. Thanks.